Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Week 15 edition of the JWB DFS Corner. I am Wyatt, here to highlight some players for the DraftKings main slate. As always, we are hoping that all of these players three times their salary. What does that mean? If they cost $5,000, we want them to score 15 points. But before I move on to Week 15, I, of course, have to take a look back at my calls from Week 14. My first player from Week 14 was Kirk Cousins, $6,100 who had a fantastic day going for 28 DK points, 4.6 times his salary. Absolutely smashed. We'd love to see that one. But the next two, not so much. Joe Mixon, 6,900, only had 12.6 DK points, less than two times his salary. Not where we'd like. He actually had a decent game play-wise, but he didn't quite get all the opportunities we were hoping for in that game. My next player was Chris Godwin at $6,700, 10.4 DK points, less than two times his salary. Again, didn't quite get there. The usage was there. The production wasn't quite there, and he did not meet expectations. My last call was TJ Hogginson at $5,100, who went for 12.7 DK points, two and a half times his salary, which is, you know, it doesn't hurt you. Not quite the mark we're looking for, but at least that one did not fail you. All right. Now, I'm getting ready to move on to week 15, but I want to, before I get to week 15, say, you know, I've been having a tough go at it this year on this show. I haven't made a lot or as many calls as like to get right. And I make it tougher on myself by trying not to repeat that many players for the show because I only do four for the show, but I got to do better. And I'm going to get back on track this week, starting out with Justin Herbert, $7,200 going against the Titans who give up the second most DraftKings points to QBs this year. Herbert's kind of underperformed this year overall, but there's been a lot of injuries there for the Chargers, and he's actually been getting back on track as of late, and now, especially with all of his weapons being healthy, over the last three games, he's averaging 24.1 DK points per game. And I think that should definitely continue this week against the Titans, who have given up the second most passing yards and second most passing touchdowns so far this year. The Titans have an amazing run defense, but their pass defense is nowhere near, and they complete pass funnel so I think Justin Herbert's really going to be able to take advantage of them, especially, like I said, with his full complement of weapons being healthy. Additionally, the Chargers have an implied team total for this game of 25.25 points, so they should be able to score plenty in this game. My second call for this week is Isaiah Pacheco at $5,900, going up against the Texans, who give up the ninth most DraftKings points to running backs but they also give up the most rushing yards and most rushing touchdowns to running backs on the year, which is where Isaiah Pacheco does all his damage. We know that he's not much of a pass catching back in that offense, but he does plenty through the run game, gets plenty of opportunities there. In fact, over the last four games, he's averaging 17 and a half opportunities per game, almost all coming through the ground, like I said, where the Houston Texans really struggle. And he's actually been scoring 14 and a half DK points per game over that span. And that's while he's had some tough matchups against the Broncos, Bengals, and Rams, which have all been very good defenses this year. Now, he gets to have the easiest matchup there is in the entire NFL. Finally, the Chiefs have the highest implied team total on the entire slate at 31.75 points. So obviously, the Chiefs are set to score a ton of points against the Texans, and I think that Isaiah Pacheco will be in there with them getting those points. My next player for this week, Garrett Wilson at $6,000, facing the line to allow the fourth most DraftKings points to wide receivers. So far this year, without Zach Wilson, Garrett Wilson is averaging 20.3 DK points per game. And with specifically Mike White, he's actually averaging 22.5 DK points per game. And it's not any sort of fluke here because the volume is there. In fact, he's averaging 10.5 targets per game as long as Zach Wilson is not starting. Mike White is banged up this week after last week's game, but everything looks as though he is going to be there starting for them again. So you are going to be able to fire up Garrett Wilson with confidence. And with him only um, costing $6,000, this is just an obvious mispricing for Garrett Wilson. You just have to continue to ride it out until they do something about that. And speaking of Mike White, you can also play Mike White. $5,400, $5,400, also a really good price, and he's the punt-down QB, I think, of choice if that's the way you're looking to go with your lineup. My last player for this week is Greg Dulcich, $3,600, playing the Cardinals, who are the worst team at stopping tight ends in all of the NFL. They give up the most catches, most yards, and most touchdowns to tight ends 
this year. It's just the smash matchup of all smash matchups for a position. And now going into this week, Cortland Sutton is again expected to miss this game. Uh, he hasn't really practiced yet, so it's looking as though that will be the case. And when that happens, Dulcich is likely to be the second receiving option for the Broncos, which is really what we want for our tight ends to be able to be the second or first option in their offense. And then Dulcich gets to face the best matchup this week. So it's just a really easy play for me, uh, especially when he's only costs $3,600. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Get all of our content at jwbfantasyfootball.com or jwb underscore ff on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at yb underscore ff. While you're here, please like, subscribe, follow. Subscribing helps us continue to do the best content we can and do more of it for all of you, and it gets all of our content in your feed. Join in on our Discord, which you'll be able to find the link to in the description of this video, so you can join in, in all of the conversation we have going on there. Ask all your start sit questions. You'll have many play many people from the JWB team come in to help answer your questions. Until next time, I'll see you later.